We've got Ryan Conroy here with the Aberdeen Ironbirds. Ryan, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So you are from Rhode Island originally. I am. But then spent most of your young, youthful years down in Florida going to yes, uh, a, spring, a lot of spring training games. But you were close to Sarasota and the Orioles spring training facility. Yeah, yeah. I actually only grew up like 45 minutes from Sarasota. Wow. I played a lot of my high school and travel ball in Sarasota. So, I'm, I mean, Twin Lakes was where I played Little League, actually. So, I mean, any, anywhere <laughs> Orioles, I've played probably on the field before I even got there. Nice. And you played at Ed Smith Stadium, which is a great stadium, by yeah. the way. I love how it is kind of like a miniature Oriole Park at Camden Yards. Yeah, it's awesome. It's, it's a beautiful park to play in. I can't, I can't ask for much more than that. So you were drafted last year by the Orioles. Have you had a chance yet to go up to Baltimore and see the park? Um, after, after I was drafted, I actually came up to Baltimore to do my physicals and stuff like that. And okay. I was able to come and um, see the Red Sox play the Orioles. Um, nice. Sat behind the home, home plate. My um, roommate from college was interning here <laughs> at, for, for Masson, actually. Really? And um, <clears throat> Maybe so I, I know them. <laughs> possibly, yeah. possibly. So um, uh, They got coffee for me at some point. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. And, uh, uh, you know, I caught a game. It was awesome. I, it's the first time I've, I've ever been to Kenden, so I was, you know. Nice. Awesome. Like the experience? Yeah, yeah it was nice. awesome. We've bounced around quite a lot this year going, you touched on Del Marva, you've been to Frederick. What is it like bouncing around? Is it a difficult adjustment to make having to play in a different ballpark with a different team at several different points in the season? Um, you know, it's tough, you know, going between teams, learning, you know, the chemistry is always different. But honestly, I mean, it's just a game of baseball. It's always the same thing. <laughs> Um, you know, here, mostly in Aberdeen, I was a starter, and then when I went to Del Marva, I started and also relieved, and same thing in Frederick. I basically was a reliever the entire time I was there, and, you know, it's tough, but it's also at the same time, you just got to remember it's baseball. Just yeah. Keep, keep plugging away. Yeah, and you were a closer here as well last year. Mm -hmm. They say closers have a different mentality. Did you have <laughs> any kind of intensity last year? Did you have to create that intensity to um, be a closer? You know, most of my years in college, I was a starter, but um, you could ask any of my friends in college, I was kind of, they would call me pretty much crazy. Really? Yeah, um, <laughs> I, I was always that guy yelling, screaming, and um, I don't do that as much as I'm a starter because, you okay. know, I got six innings to play. I can't, you know, <laughs> get crazy in the first inning. But as a yeah. closer, I mean, high pressure, it's always high pressure situation, and, you know, you got to take it and, and run with it. You can't shy away from it. So yeah, I just took it and ran with it and had fun with it. It's a good way to think about things. Now that you have had a little bit of Pro Bowl experience under your belt. You've been here, you know, in the organization for over a year now. What kind of adjustments have you made since coming to Pro Bowl? Yes, I mean, similar to what I was saying, I mean, when you boil it down, it's just baseball. You know, the guys are the same. It's, you know, obviously different guys. I mean, I'm playing with people that were in my conference. I mean, Shelton Perkins, Griffin McClarty. I played against those guys, and now, here I'm, on, and now, now I'm here on a team with them. Right. And so when you think about it, you know, it's, it's really not that much different. I mean, you got the bus rides, you got the plan every night. You know, you just got to keep plugging away at the season. But, you know, I, I, I kind of find a lot of similarities. It's just playing baseball. And now I don't have to do school. So right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Gets even easier. That is the best part about yeah, being yeah. an adult. You have not given up many home runs. In fact, you've given up just one home run as a professional. I'm definitely jinxing it right now. But that's okay because <laughs> you've already gotten jinxed earlier this year, right? Yeah. Um, I, I saw a tweet right before my start. I think it was two weeks ago in Tri-City. Mm -hmm. And they had were, they highlighted the fact that I haven't given up a home run in 75 innings this year and then um, hadn't given up actually one in my pro career in the yeah. first inning. I think with two outs in the first inning, set Ooh. the slider over the right field wall. And I was like... <laughs> A slider too. There it is, man. There it is. So, oh, you know. brutal. Why is it that you have been able to avoid the, the uh, long ball? So that's kind of my mo. As I, I mean, I keep everything on the ground. I'm, I'm a sinker ball pitcher. Okay. I have a good change up, and that's kind of my thing. I let my defense work. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have guys all over this field that are high draft picks because they're they're good in the field. Yeah. And you know, I just let them work, do their job. I mean, I'm, I'll get my strikeouts here and there, but you know, mainly I try to get guys to ground out and, and that's how I get deep into games. Have you always been that kind of pitcher? I've always been that kind of pitcher. That's kind of been my MO since I was a kid. You know, just make make hitters do something in the first three pitches and, you know, if you get them, get them ahead 0-2, you know, try to put them away. And yeah. If they start getting back in the count, get a ground ball every time. And the way that that factors in with analytics, is that something that you've been encouraged to do more and to just kind of be who you are by the coaching staff too? Or do they, do they try to change your game at all? I mean, especially playing in the American League East, that's, you know, you got to keep the ball on the ground. You, know, <laughs> yeah, true. you got the Bronx Bombers, you got the Red Sox. I mean, these, exactly these, right. these guys are going to put the ball in the air and the more you can keep them out of the air, you know, you can get them out of their, out of their game. So You're thinking ahead. I like yeah. that. I like that. <laughs> Always thinking ahead. You've got a bright future in front of you and hopefully you guys are in the playoffs by the time uh, I hope so. we're back here. So, I awesome. hope so. Best of luck the rest Thank of the way. Ryan Conroy joining us here 
in Aberdeen.